welcome to this deep dive video series using Amazon A2I with Amazon Textract. I am Mona and I am machine learning specialist solution architect here at AWS. And today I'm going to talk about how you can use Amazon A2I with your existing document processing workflows with Amazon Textract. Documents are integral to any business because they have a lot of meaningful information which might impact your business. And that is why organizations have been trying to process data from these documents, automate their existing document processing workflows. Some of the challenges they have faced is uh, one of the ways they have been extracting data is uh, manually, which is time consuming, error prone and expensive. The second approach is using rule based system or OCR based system to extract data from these documents. And uh, the pain point is that rule-based systems are not intelligent enough and they break with format changes. Third approach is using machine learning to extract data from documents. The challenge is that it, re it requires a lot of infrastructure, heavy lifting and machine learning skills. Lastly, you would need some kind of human review workflow or human review loop with your machine learning model to make sure that the results predicted are highly accurate. This is where how AWS can help with our AWS AIML services. So we have we are going to talk about Amazon Textract and Amazon Augmented AI. Amazon Textract is our AI service which helps extract data from any document at any scale. The advantage of using Amazon Textract is that you do not need a lot of machine learning expertise to get started with. These are just APIs where you send a request uh, and you get a response back. And Amazon Augmented AI will quickly help set up human in, human review loop uh, for you without any complex uh, processing of uh, setting up those workflows for you. So let's see some of the benefits of using Amazon A2I. It helps easily implement human review workflows for you because it comes with 70 plus pre-built templates to help you quickly get started. And you can also manage a large group of reviewers with this. The second, it reduces the time to market. And why it reduces time to market? Because uh, you all you know that there is a human backdrop to catch the low confidence predictions. It has multiple workforce options, primarily three. First is you can use Amazon Mechanical Turk. Second, you can onboard your own employees in case you have sensitive data and use private workforce option which we are going to show you in today's demo. And third is uh, you can use any vendor through AWS Marketplace. Amazon A2I also integrates with your custom machine learning model. So it not only integrates with Amazon Textract, you can also integrate human in the loop for Amazon Comprehend or Amazon Recognition or be it any machine learning model trained by SageMaker, you can set that human in the loop process with that. How Amazon A2I works with Amazon Textract, here are your scanned documents. It can be PDF or images. You send that to Amazon Textract. Amazon Textract will extract text, key value pairs and tables from these documents along with the confidence score. And with Amazon A2I, you can define a threshold on which you want to trigger a human loop. So you can say that, hey, anything 90% confidence and more can be sent directly to my client application. And anything below that is considered low confidence for me. And please send that for a human review where multiple people can log in uh, to A2I console and they will review this. And results will be automatically saved in your Amazon S3 bucket. And from there, it will be directly consumed by client application. So steps to quickly get started, uh, we will cover these five steps uh, using a demo. So some of these steps are in AWS console and some of these steps will cover using a notebook. So let's get started. So here is the employment application form and uh, we will show you how you can configure a human review loop to detect low confidence prediction or and in case of any missing key value from this application, for example, mail address. So let's get started. So the first step is to create a private workforce. 
So we'll go to labeling workforce. And uh, we will click on private. And create private team. You can provide a name to it, A to I demos or anything to your private team. And you have two choices here. Uh, you can either create a new Amazon Cognito user group or you can import your existing Cognito user groups. Lastly, you can set SNS topic notification, which will enable your work team to receive notification on available work. I have already created a private team for this demo and I have added myself or you can invite various email addresses by using this invite new workers to this private team. Now we'll go to step two, which is setting up human review workflows. So we'll click create human review workflow. Provide a name to it. We already created an Amazon S3 bucket where the output of human reviews will be stored. I am pointing to that bucket and uh, creating an IAM role. Either you can create a new, new role or you can further lock down by creating a custom IAM role. And you can either provide a specific S3 bucket to further lock down the permission or you can give any S3 bucket. Then we will choose the tasks type, what type of task you want to perform. And in today's case, we are doing to extract key value pair extraction. So you can configure settings like when you want this task to be invoked. So you can either, you have three options here. Either, either, either you can invoke a human review for specific form keys based on the form key confidence score or when specific form keys are missing. So in the employment application case, I want to trigger this for mail address and I can specify the confidence on which I want this to be triggered. And another choice you have is to trigger human review for all form keys identified by Amazon to extract with confidence score in specified range. And I want to configure that as well. So I want to configure this for zero to 90 percent confidence that trigger my human review loop when this configuration is met. Now talking about worker tasks template, we are going to use this default template here, uh, which which comes with uh, Amazon A to I to extract key value pair, but you can also use your own template and further customize it. We'll give a template name. And uh, you can specify instructions for your workers here. And lastly, you can choose the private work team we just created in step one. And uh, send your data to this, uh, send your A to I data to this private work team and you can click on create. This will create a human review workflow for you. So I've already created one. We'll quickly copy this workflow ARN, which we will use to invoke the human review loop with Amazon to extract. So the next step is to upload the data into Amazon S3 bucket and I have already uploaded it. Uh, so the sample document is uploaded and uh, the, in permissions, you have to make sure that you have a cross origin resource sharing configuration is enabled. Now we will show you how you can uh, trigger this ARN or human uh, review flow definition using Amazon uh, text tract. So, so coming to this notebook, we have two ways here. The first is using CLI command and uh, for the CLI command, we created a JSON file by specifying the flow definition ARN I just copied and uh, the name of the S3 bucket where you where your document is stored. So these two things are needed to specify when you are using CLI command and you can run this. It will create an A2I loop for you. The second way you can do is using Boto3 Python APIs. And in this, we set up a human loop config 
with the same ARN I just copied. Give a human loop name. It has to be unique. And uh, call textract dot analyze document API by passing this human loop configuration. And you get a response here that your loop is configured. Now coming to step four, how you will uh, log into your A2I console and uh, more validate this. So this is my A2I console and I'm a worker. I will start working on it. So you can see that uh, for mail address, the value is blank. I can click on the value and I can say 234 Main Street, any town. And I can also validate rest of the values, whether they are correct or not. And I can click on this submit. So once I submit this, my output will, my corrected output will be saved in Amazon S3 bucket. We covered all the five steps to quickly help you get started with Amazon Textract and Amazon Augmented AI for processing employment application form. Here is this blog uh, where you can go and follow the steps I walked you through step by step. You can find the data set and all the configurations. Here are some of the resources which can help you with Amazon Textract and Amazon A2I, including PDF processing with Amazon A2I, and a handwritten table with Amazon A2I. So do go and check these out. Thank you for staying today and I hope you learned something new today.